Thank you so much for watching this video. It's a quick review of the Tessie app. It's, uh, I believe, $4.99 a month. But the cool thing is, it actually uses your actual driving data over the last 30 miles to give you your actual range. So when we click on battery, about 100%, which is 350 miles of range. It's a long range 2022 Model 3. Based on my last 30 miles of driving, my real world, real world range is only 203 miles. Um, obviously, I know what I was driving, <clears throat> and that's you know pretty aggressive. Just kind of having some fun with it, um, but don't worry. That's not. That's just to give you a real time thing. If you drive it the way it's intended to, using autopilot, auto steer, you'll see this number is usually in the in the 320 to 330 range, and it's all based on your efficiency and how well you drive. You can see we can look at some of our driving stats, and we can see. <clears throat> Uh, let's look for a little bit longer drive here, and that's two miles. All short trips with high acceleration. This one's three miles. <clears throat> you can look at our efficiency, um, elevation change, battery percentage used, efficiency 47%. And that's just ridiculous. Uh, nothing wrong with the car. Completely operator error. Uh, you can see the high spikes in um, acceleration. Going up some ramps, uh, hard hard acceleration, hard braking, and th this is the real real number here. The average energy use 469 watt hours per mile. This is a very short drive. <clears throat> Keep in mind, the Tessy app uses the combination of the last 30 miles driven, and with high numbers like this, that of course is going to show you a very low range. Uh, thing I like about this app, it shows you your charging stats. And you'll see we went from 88% uh, to 100% this morning. And we can see uh, the efficiency. We had the cabin overheat protection on as well as sentry mode. And we had a 54 miles of range. It tells our energy. We're this trickle charge, 12 volt, 12 amp, 125 peak. Um, so it's, it's a great app. If you like numbers, if you like stats, if you really want to um, see detailed drives. You can look at your map, last seven days. Uh, you can get back to last 30 days and you can kind of see where you've driven. Oh, that's charging, sorry. Let's do that with driving. Driving, map, and then you can see for like the last seven days where you've been. <clears throat> and you can click on each one and you can actually see the trip. Well, used to be up to. Analytics, and I'll give you a summary under the analytics total miles driven over the last seven days, 300 miles. You can see which days you drove more, the total energy used, your electricity cost that you plug in, fuel cost that you plug in, and here's that efficiency number. So up to the last seven days, uh, 319, which is still high, but uh, this is a fun vehicle to drive, and I didn't get it to drive like a grandma or make a robo taxi. I got it to have fun in it and enjoy it. And so uh, that's a more valid representation the normal driving, uh, nine hours of driving, total trips 47, your speed efficiency based on your miles per hour, and your temperature efficiency. So it has a lot of great data, uh, everything from charging, driving habits, uh, you can do automation, you can program a lot of things you can do in the Tesla app, um, uh, like scheduling, your charging, and your departure to get the climate right. So it's a great app, I'm trying it free for a couple weeks here. And um, if money was no object, I would definitely keep it. I strongly recommend. And you can see the climate here is 116 indoors. I don't have climate protection on apparently. That's the only thing I haven't figured out how to do with this app is to set the cabin overheat protection on using the Tessie app. Obviously I can do it with the Tesla app, no problem. Um, so overall my thoughts on this app are, it's fantastic, definitely at least for the trial. Uh, not sure how much data I will be using. Uh, I do like the driving and the and the charging stats. That is pretty helpful with with a map overlay. That's kind of fun, <clears throat> and you can kind of just see where you've been and your total number of trips and your distance driven. Let's see. So even over 935 miles, uh, I use a lot of energy at 297. Now keep in mind, <clears throat> this is Florida. It's been about 96 degrees every single day, so the air is usually cranked. And I have a habit of keeping the uh, air conditioner on when I 
run a run a quick errand. I like to get into the car and have it have it cool. So you can see our efficiency is at 70%, which is 318 watt hours per mile. I believe 99 to 100% is around 220 range, uh, 220 watt hours per mile, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, just to give you a general idea, if you don't accelerate firmly and you're driving like an old lady, that's the kind of range you can expect to get. So thank you so much for watching this video, and like with all my videos, uh, I like to leave you with the best news ever, and that is the gospel. You know, the Bible's very clear, and we all know this, it's a 10 out of 10, we're all going to die. There's No one's going to avoid death, and the Bible's very clear and says it's appointed unto men once to die, and after this, the judgment. So where will you stand uh, on judgment day? <clears throat> if you're honest... And you take a moment to think about it. You know we've uh, we've all done things that are wrong. God's given us all a conscience. It's just a Latin root word. Con means with. Science means knowledge. With knowledge, we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And you think, well, I've only told a few white lies. That that shouldn't count. And I've done all these good things. Try that in the court of law. You know, they got you on, on tape, uh, robbing a bank, shooting the guard on the way out. And the judge says, what do you have to say for yourself? You say, judge, yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of that. You know, I've told lies, I've stolen, I've done all these other things. But but look at all the good I do. I feed the homeless and I uh, volunteer my time at, at the homeless shelter. And I, I help widows and orphans. I do all these wonderful things. And he says, that's great. You should do those things. But you commit a crime and there, you have to pay for it. And God's the same way. He's a just God and a just judge. If he was uh, not good and holy and moral and perfect, he's incapable of turning his eye against our crimes. <clears throat> and people will say, well, God, God's a God of forgiveness. True, he is. He is. But at some point, you have to realize you're standing before him. So you've done things that are wrong, you've lied, you've stolen, you've blasphemed, used his name as a cuss word, you've uh, committed adultery. You say, well, I've, I've never cheated my wife, but <clears throat> maybe you look at porn or you look at other women or men uh, with lustful thoughts. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and have impure thoughts about her, you've already committed adultery within your heart. And not only that, you know, you say, well, I've never murdered anybody. But Jesus said, if you hate someone, it's as if you murdered them already. <clears throat> and we could go through all Ten Commandments. We don't need to, because just breaking one is enough to uh, send a person to, to hell for eternity. That's hard to hear. It's hard to say. It's hard to receive. But that's, that's the reality. So what God's done in His sovereign act of grace is He sent His Son, Jesus, to live a sinless life, born of a virgin, never lied, never stole, never committed adultery, never murdered, and willingly shed his blood to make atonement for all those who would repent and put their faith in what he's already done. When that happens, the Bible says that there's an imputation that happens. You're uh, credited with Christ's righteousness. And the wrath of God that should be poured out on us was poured out on his son at the cross over 2,000 years ago. And I would encourage you to read John chapter 3. It's the uh, religious leader of the day, Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and he says, Rabbi, I know, I know you're a teacher come from God because no one can do these signs that you do unless God's with them. You know, you're healing the lepers and giving sight to the blind and um, restoring the hearing of the deaf, raising the dead. Obviously, you're from God. <clears throat> and Jesus said, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And there's this exchange that goes back and forth between the two. And there's this man, Nicodemus, who was a very religious man. He prayed two hours a day every day. He fasted twice a week. He knew the law. He tithed. He was obedient in so many things, but he, he missed the weightier things. And that's to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. And the second is like it. It's to love your neighbor as yourself. And he missed that completely. So I would encourage you to open God's Word. There's a Bible app called YouVersion Bible app with over 100 million downloads. Start reading God's Word for yourself. It'll actually read it to you if you just hit play. If you listen to it for 15 minutes a day, you'll, you'll go through the whole Bible in a year. 
30 minutes a day in six months, an hour a day, three months. So you can go through the whole Bible in three months just by listening to an hour a day. And in fact, most people who identify as Christians have, have actually never read the whole Bible. So I would encourage you to go to the source. God's word is truth. And I would ask you to uh, put your faith and trust in what Christ has already done. Not just a head knowledge, but a, a, a true relationship. A repenting of your sins. <clears throat> forsaking all other idols and false loves. And not putting anything else above God. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. God bless you.